good people of YouTube. Today we bring the most pleasant news from up on high, and that is we are getting some major changes to commander skills in update 12.10. At least they're letting us in on the early versions of these changes. So this was all announced in a Discord live stream uh, the day of recording today, Monday the 2nd. And I gotta say, these are some very exciting changes, and it's pretty clear that they have been listening to a lot of the community feedback over the past couple of years. It's taken them forever to get some of these changes out, but a lot of these changes are things that we have genuinely been asking for, and a couple of things that I myself have been talking about for quite some time that needed rectification. And if you didn't get the hint from the intro meme, um, yes... We are back, baby. The German secondary cruisers are back, and we'll get to that here in a minute. But if you do find this video informational, entertaining, or just down to enjoy, make sure you drop a like and leave a comment down below. And why not subscribe to the channel while you're down there? It helps out on the YouTube side of things. But if you do want to read along as I read aloud, link to this is in the description down below. They did release a dev blog going over all these announced changes. We're going to get right into it because there's a bit to cover today. So. Again, if you want to read along as I read aloud, check out the link down below. They start out with changes to commander skills update 12.10. So this is important to know. This is still two full patch cycles out, right? So, and that's if they come out in 12.10, they could push them back as testing goes, you know, one way or the other. So these aren't coming anytime soon, but two full patch cycles from now at least. So... They say, with the re release of update 12.10, we plan to make changes to some of the commander skills for battleships, cruisers, and destroyers. We have gathered both the, st the statistical data and player feedback over time and reworked some of the outdated, unpopular, or underperforming skills to make them more useful in battles. And see, that's something that we mentioned with the commander rework, how, especially for battleships, there were really only two builds that were viable in most battleships at the time. And as some of the battle cruisers came out, you know, maybe some slight variations here or there, but really across most lines, you really got one or two builds. Cruisers, I think, got the most out of it with a, a wider variety of skills, since, of course, cruisers are some of the most versatile uh, well, the most versatile class in the game. You have light cruisers, heavy cruisers, cruisers that are almost battleships, you know. So, yeah, but as for, like, battleships and destroyers, not that much variety there. So let's go ahead and read on through it. So they say, starting off with consumable specialist battleships, cruisers, and destroyers in the first line of the commander skill tree. Remove the following effects of fighter consumable, spotting aircraft, defensive AA consumable, main battery reload consumable, torpedo reload booster consumable, cooldown time, that is all gone now. So the 10% boost to the fighter, spotter, DFAA, main battery reload booster, torpedo reload boost, that's gone now. Instead, they swap that out for cooldown time of all consumables except damage con and repair party by 7.5% and for unique commanders, 10%. The bonus also doesn't affect specialized repair teams, heavy repair teams, and fast damage con. So you don't get it on the Conqueror Super Heal, the heavy repair of the Sevastopol or the Lushan, or the fast damage con of the Soviet BBs. They state, now this skill will affect a greater variety of consumables, which means that it will benefit the absolute majority of the ships. In order to balance this out, we decide to slightly decrease the bonus itself. So now for every single consumable that isn't damage con or repair party, that is a pretty big pickup. I mean, like, yeah, Think about it. It's fighter, spotter, DFA, main battery, reload booster, torpedo, reload booster. There's not too many ships that have like two or more of those all together that you may want to actually take that skill for. So there was maybe what a couple of like German cruisers or um, some oddball cruisers or maybe a couple destroyers here or there that could actually benefit from that skill. So it probably really wasn't taken that much. I know I didn't really take it, I think, at all on any of my ships. So, yeah, fair point. Now it affects all consumables that, get, that again, aren't damage con or repair parties. So I think that's a positive change there. And something that I got wrong a lot back in the day is now, in fact, fat. So... 
Turns out I wasn't wrong. I was just ahead of my time. Preventative maintenance added the following effect. Increases the HP of AA guns and secondary guns by 15%. So way back in the day in some of my uh, earlier videos when I was going through my commander build I said yeah take preventive maintenance because it increases the HP of the AA and secondary guns and it turns out it didn't so I wasn't wrong I was just a un unknowingly a, a time traveler for those videos so that that's that's great AA guns and secondary guns with the amount of HP spam that we're getting in the game nowadays of course the AA guns they get knocked out all the time same with secondary guns so that's great um, we still have the issue that the RNG system still in place that assigns the amount of HP, HP to these mounts so that's still a little you know dubious if you want to build into that or not because again like we've seen in the past uh, it's completely RNG based now of course this is still going to increase that survivability by a bit so that is definitely a positive but you still got that lingering in the back of my mind at least great for secondary ships of course too you know you want your secondaries to keep in the fight you want to you know get what you build into out of your ship and when you know you eat a round of HC and half of your secondaries get knocked out on one side that uh sucks so great change there super heavy AP shells this is for battleships line three Fire damage received negative 10, flood damage received negative 10%. So that's now added to the um, super heavy AP shells. So this is a bit of a weirder change for me. Because if you take super heavy AP shells right now for your battleships, you get the increased AP performance, so the increased alpha. But it's at the cost of a 20% um, increase to the fire and flooding times that are applied to your ship so your your fires and your floods run for longer which means you take more damage but you get that damage boost out of your AP shells so now they reduce the amount of damage you get by 10% from fire and flooding but it still runs 20% longer so my thing is why wouldn't you just cut back the time say instead of running for 20% longer it only runs for 10% longer now uh, yeah, no, okay, okay, I mean, hey, it's 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 a buff for sure, I mean, uh, an odd one for me, but okay, go ahead, Wargaming. This one's also really interesting and I think pretty darn useful. Improved Repair Party Readiness, Battleships Line 3. Added a new effect that can be activated. Receive an additional one charge of Repair Party for receiving 3 million potential damage once per battle. And then it says charge of repair party plus one. So that's the already, uh, yeah, that, that's the one that's already there. Okay. So, yeah, you get another dam uh, repair party charge for three million potential damage. That is so easy to do in most of the games today if you're a battleship that likes to push up. Because you're going to be everybody's choice of target, right? If you get above the H line or the B line before the, you know, the, the 15 minute mark sometimes. So sure another repair party for getting three million potential damage a great way to encourage pushing because i mean and, and again i'm not saying go just w in, in the first two minutes of the match no but for you know battleships that push and tank for their team this is a great way to reward them for doing that by giving them you know another repair party and a chance to extend their lifetime for doing so so now that means what six damage con i'm sorry six repair parties for some ships like the Kremlin, because you get, um, yeah, cause, yeah, because you get uh, Kusasov's Pity Hill, and good God, wow, and then you have the commanders that can give you the additional charge of the repair party with the um, with their skill, yeah, like Yamamoto. So again, in some cases you can have seven repair parties, seven full repair parties. Good God, that's uh, yeah. All right, so you get an additional two repair parties out of this skill, basically. So that's, that's, okay, cool, 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 cool. Focus fire training, cruisers line two, battleships line three. This is the AA um, skill. Out of the following effect, immediate damage when activating the priority sector uh, plus 1.5%. Change the following effects. Airstrike armament reload time from 10% to 15%. Aircraft preparation time 
uh, from a 5% buff to a 10% buff. When you activate the priority A sector, enemy squadrons in its range immediately, immediately receive damage based on the squadron's HP. At the moment, without using this skill, cruisers and battleships deal immediate damage equal to 3.5% of the enemy squadron's HP. The skill buffs it up to 5%. So this is something that is going to directly help you counter CVs if you are in one of those AA cruisers or one of those battleships that have good AA. So that that's great, you know. Uh, again, a lot of players for a very long time have been complaining about how useless your AA feels. Now, I know 5% doesn't really sound like a lot, but I mean, when you activate priority AA sector, that's an immediate 5% off of the squadron's HP. And then of course they're still going to eat damage from your continuous AA damage and then you are going to, you know, the, the flak that they're going to eat as well. So it doesn't sound like a lot but it is pretty significant, in my opinion, at least. So here's the, the, really, the really fun stuff. Secondary Armament Specialist. Cruisers Line 3. Renamed Enhanced Torpedo Explosive Charge to Secondary Armament Specialist and added the following effect. Secondary Battery Firing Range plus 20%. There are cruisers that actively use their secondaries, however, there aren't that many skills that provide bonuses to them. There's literally no skills that provide bonuses to them. This change will make the skill useful to a bigger pool of ships. And they did note in the Discord that the um, additional damage you get from the torpedoes is staying with this skill. So, in addition to the torpedo damage buff, you're now getting a secondary battery range buff. So... For you Siegfried fans out there, finally, years after we were robbed of our secondary Siegfried, we now have a chance to relive those glory days if these changes go through. And we get additional bonuses, bonus damage to our torpedoes as well, which, that's great. I'm here for that. So, this puts a lot of secondary cruisers back in the game. Because, of course, with the commander rework, a lot of their secondary ranges were nerfed, and there wasn't a way you could uh, build back out into them, but this is now allowing that. So, I believe this is going to take the Siegfried and the Gear secondary range back out to, I think, 11-ish kilometers. Again, it depends upon what the final product is. But in addition to them, you, of course, have their Schroeder now, which is just going to be downright a menace now with this additional range. And this also explains that random change we got a little while ago where they changed the way secondaries work now in terms of detection. They made it to where if your secondary range is longer than your concealment range, your secondary, when they fire now, will raise your concealment range to your secondary range. And I think there was literally like one or two ships that could do that and they weren't even secondary ships. This explains that now because a lot of these cruisers... They can get their consumer down to like 10-ish kilometers, and this is going to put their secondaries out to 12, 11-ish kilometers with the module and then with the skill. So yeah, yeah, Siegfried's back, boys. Now I know Napoli is still, of course, going to be better too with this, but I I'm just so happy that Siegfried is, is back. Secondary Siegfried is bad, back. The fun ship has returned, fellas, so... That's probably the one I'm most excited for. Finally, after all the videos I've made talking about how you know Siegfried has been robbed and it's wrong that they did that, they're finally adding it back. And I'm not saying that they did it just because I said so. All of us Siegfried owners that had her back in the day when we had the fun build, we, 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 we have been wrong and we have been vindicated now, hopefully. If this goes through, of course. All right. Furious Battleships. Line 4. Furious Battleships. Furious. Battleships line 4. Move the following effects. Main battery reload time, negative uh, 5%. Dispersion of shells fired by enemies attacking your ship, plus 5%. Added the following change. So they, they completely threw out the previous effects of the skill. And they added this in. Improves your ship's characteristics for each active fire and or flooding on board your ship. Your first fire and flooding, main battery reload time, 10%. Second and each consecutive fire and flooding up to six. Main battery reload time, negative 5%. So, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if this means like it's... Okay, they explain it down here. 
Fires and flooding can be extremely frustrating, especially when you don't have a damage con party up. This skill will partially compensate for the inconvenience by providing the ship a significant bonus to the main battery reload. Additionally, it can be combined with the updated super heavy AP shells to reduce both fire and flooding damage. So, second and each consecutive fire and flooding up to six, you get a 5% buff to your reload. So does that mean that when you have two fires or floods on you, each additional one is another 5%? Because that's going to be, what... 30 a 40 percent buff to the reload time if you have uh four flyers and two floodings on your ship or you know some combination of that that's insane also you aren't going to live very long if you if you have six instances of those those uh, effects on you at all but a 40 percent buff and then of course you can throw adrenaline rush on top of that uh that's a little cracked but I think especially with, like, Conqueror and other ships like St. Vincent that have the, those super damage, I'm sorry, those super repair parties, they could definitely make use of this. St. Vincent, oh god. Ooh, man. Oh, man. St. Vincent's gonna be scary with this. Good god. Okay. Dang. Alright, moving on. Dazzle, Destroyers Line 4. Added a new bonus to the activated effect, reduce the accuracy of hostile fire dire directed at your ship, and increases her speed for 15 seconds after your ship's been detected. So you get an 8% buff to the ship's speed after you're detected for 15 seconds. So that's just like an instant speed boost. That's, um... Man. The Kleber and the Kabarosk... Well, there are, they're, they're pretty much always spotted. So, yeah, for, for those DDs that just need to get out of their detection range or get away from whatever's detecting them, that's going to be a huge bonus to them for sure. So, okay, okay. AA Defense and ASW Expert Battleships Line 2, Cruisers Line 4. Change the following effects. Continuous AA damage for battleships from 10% to 15%. Damage from AA shell explosions from 10% to 15%. Cruisers, continuous AA damage from 20% to 25%, damage from AA shell explosions 20% to 25%. Activated effects, improve your ship's characteristics when her AA guns. Activated effect, improve your... Okay, that just, um... That, that, that they typed that twice, sure, sure. Then Oh no, I'm okay, no, I'm an idiot. I was reading from the battleship column across the cruiser column. So the ship's consumable preparation reload time... 15% to 40% buff, good lord. Ship consumable preparation reload time, 20% to 50%. Oh my god. So if you have like DFAA on your cruiser and your AA guns are firing, you get half the reload time when you take a defense expert now. Good lord. And with battleships, you get a 40% reload buff for those uh, consumables so that's uh wow wow dang a ships are gonna be goofy now wow i don't know what to say about that 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 that's a lot i don't think that one's gonna make it through all the way because that that's a massive buff to the aa ships um wow I, I, okay, okay, Wargaming, Wargaming really cooked on this one, fellas. They cooked through and through. So, dang. I mean, I pretty much said what I, what I think about each change as we went through them. Um, man, it's, it's, it's a great day. It's a great day to be a secondary cruiser enjoyer or an AA boat captain as well, AA ship captain as well, before the, the boat and ship people come out to stab me again. But yeah, guys, some crazy changes, some great changes. I, I, I agreed, most of these skills needed some help. And the, the ships that these skills are helping now are most definitely in need of their help. So big buffs to AA skills, big buffs to the, well, <laughs> big introduction of the secondary cruiser skills. Reintroduction, I guess I, sh I, I should say. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for these changes. Now again, this is in 1210. 
you best believe I'm going to download the PT for 12.10 when it does come out. So guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We're on way to 75,000 subscribers, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday and a wonderful rest of your week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.